Welcome back to Victoria, folks. We are joined, as always, by ST Hedgehog. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. And, uh... Well, the Hedgehog misplaced the train in his pocket. <laughs> I'm sure I had a box here somewhere for the trains. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't see it. I, I think I've put, I, I might have picked it up at one point. I don't remember. Uh, it kind of uh, sounds like the Danish National Railways. Like, where, where, where the hell did the train go? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it left here at this time. And. Mm. Uh, <laughs> should be on the way. No, hang on, hang on. Maybe, maybe, it's, maybe it's back here. Maybe it's around the corner. Hold on. I kind of feel bad blowing up a single tree with a grenade button. Well, then you shouldn't. Go. No, that's wrong. I shouldn't be blowing yeah. trees with oh, I shouldn't be wasting a full grenade on a single tree. That's the kind of the whole point. Damn the tree. Not very friendly. You're not a very friendly. You're not. Poor trees, what have they done to you? Seriously. They're always in the way. They're just living, you know, they're just doing their... It's pretty yeah. sad life. Pretty sad life, isn't it? Just standing there in one place all, all life long. I know uh, I'm. Go to the same office day in day out. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. I'm one of them. <laughs> I'm one of them. <laughs> Doing the same thing all the time. Right? Yeah. <laughs> right. And there, and we're doing without doing it without wind in our hair. Yeah, that's true. You go there. But then we don't get rained on. No. Unless we choose to. That, that, that is true. That is true. Yeah. Actually, one one time in uh, I, I was going home from work here in uh, in Bangkok, and I, I definitely did not decide to get rained on. Uh, that was not my intention. Uh, but while I was on the back of my motorbike taxi, because we have motorbike taxis here, oh, yeah. uh, it started raining, and it started raining a lot. I, I mean, uh, raining in London or in Copenhagen or something like that, that's not raining here. That, that's like a drizzle. Uh, so, and my motorbike ride home from work is maybe 10 minutes long. It takes me 10 minutes or so on the back of the motorbike. And when I got home, I, I have my computer in a backpack on my back. And when I got home, I, I was pouring water out of my laptop. Uh, my my mouse was drowned. Uh, luckily, my, my my laptop survived uh, somehow. Yeah, somehow, somehow the, the, there was there there was a little literal stream of water running out the bottom of my, of my laptop, and I, I I left it to dry for dry for a day, and it was fine. But my mouse died. My mouse died. I'm impressed by that. Uh, 
I've, I've known I've known computer equipment to you know get smashed on and that's it. He says, nope, I'm done. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, I was surprised too. And uh, th this is my uh, work computer, and mm, admittedly, my work computer is not actually designed for work. It's an Alienware computer. Ah, that's fine. That's, that's perfectly designed for work. Yeah. Uh, so, so yeah, it, but it's it. it, it yeah. Really, uh, anytime someone goes, there's water damage, I'm like, oh, okay. No, that's gonna be expensive. Yep. <laughs> uh, and then you get the whole people going, oh, but I put it in bright or, or sand or something. Like that. Yeah, that doesn't, that doesn't help. If it was salt water, no. No. You dry the water out, but not salt. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> Why you get the really strangest looks when you say to people, "Wash it." <laughs> like, what? Huh? Yep. If you drop your phone in a puddle mm -hmm. and it's there, turn it off. Obviously, don't don't do Turn it off. And when you get home, wash it under the tap to get the salt off of it, and then let it. Yeah. Go. Yeah. And it will. It might come back. I can't guarantee that. I'm not a professional. Well, maybe. I was a professional repair guy one, at one time, but not for phones. What but did you repair? I have done that myself. Uh, PCs. I, I was a PC oh. repair or am a PC repair. Have been, was, is, possibly. Okay. It changes every five minutes, PC stuff, so I'm <laughs> Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I worked for the, the wonderful PC world. Ah. Oh, oh, yeah, that's right. I remember you told me that. <laughs> Yeah, um, let's just say that uh, they're owned by Dixon's Store Group, and let's just say mm -hmm. all Dixon's care about is money. And ah. Pretty much every company just cares about money, but no, they, they really just cared about money. Okay, that sucks. Yeah, so uh, uh, obviously don't, I, I, I won't go into details with it, but yeah, they uh, those stories you hear of them ripping off little old ladies. Yeah, yeah, there's probably some truth behind them. <laughs> okay. That doesn't sound very pleasant. Yeah, they're, they're not. They're not. The, 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 the people were fine. It's just company policy. Mm. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah. But, but if anyone brought a laptop in going, it's got water damage, or and they they would go, oh, I didn't spill anything on it. You'd open it up and go, yes, you did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and you just basically hand it back to them and just go, no, you've got to go back to the manufacturer because we don't have the facilities to do that here. Yeah. We can't replace components. Uh, well, we can replace like a whole motherboard or something like that, but we can't untoggle that chip and put it on there again. No. No, of course not. No one does that. Whereas I I have done that with friends' laptops and stuff like that because you have. If, if, yeah, it's unbelievable how many chips you can find online. Huh. If you can get the number off the top of that chip, you can probably find it. Or hmm. AliExpress. AliExpress is pretty good for that. Okay. But I've done that. I've done that before. Un Unsolded. Uh... Oh. What's getting attacked? What, what the heck? I haven't oh. heard that noise in a while. It's no. A pipe has been destroyed. That's not good. <gasps> oh no. Right, that's it. I'm going to get the artillery train going. Yep. Uh, but right, I need to first do this here. We, we have copper plate and. Uh, Iron plate on a rail network, don't we? Uh, yeah. Cool. Right. We got a lot of train stations. We do. We do. Uh, iron plate pickup paused. Huh? Uh, you paused it actually. Did because I? yeah. Because. No iron was getting there. Uh, not, not, the, not the pickup. No, I did the drop off. I, I pulled the drop off. But not the oh. pickup. One of them, one of them is paused. That might have been before we had any decent trains. Maybe. But that's fine. Uh, cargo or inactivity for, shall we say, 30 seconds or whatever. 
do want a rubble box? I do not say just be full cargo. When you're filling up, you should always wait for full. It's when you're emptying. Um, and then I want oil, iron drop off, empty cargo. There. Alrighty. Okay, and off you go. And then I'm going to rename this station because I missed the word paint off of it. I am going to play the renaming station game as well if I can remember what I need to rename them to. So we need sulfur with a U. Uh, we have not got. Naming convention, correct? <laughs> uh, probably not though. Because <laughs> uh, I, I do pick up and drop off as two words. And mm -hmm. I maybe pick up as one word. <laughs> uh, maybe. Uh, actually, yeah, I'm. Uh... I suppose you pick up as one word there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, whatever. Uh, it'll be fine. Off you go. Drain. Well, it must be too close. To Let's see, productivity modules. On either side of this belt, everything. And you need both iron and copper, don't you? So. Processing unit. That one. And then I want to leave a bit of a gap and do that one. Now, what's this one going to be? This one's going to be. Well, that was explosive. So that's battery. Drop off. That requires sulfur, doesn't it? So sulfur needs to be split to go. To Science to plastic drop off. Acid. Plastic drop off. Do sulfuric acid here. And the last one. Let's just have a see. Copper and iron. Again, I'm not following green. ratios at all. I'm just there. I'm just, I'm just building eight, <laughs> and <laughs> let it go, <laughs> and, and hopefully it'll be enough and it'll work fine, and there can be more yeah. rejoicing, I don't know. It'll probably be fine. Uh, uh, ah, I think and there's a convenient water pipe right here, which I can just tap into and steal and hopefully not wreck everything. Down below by stealing water from that pipe. I got a feeling I'm gonna need more water. I don't think one pipe's gonna be enough to supply everything. Probably not. We've been making those elsewhere. Have all of that. You have all of that. I think I may have one stop too many down here, but that's okay. There's copper coming also. I really did need a full wagon tray, but I probably don't need one wagon, but... I think we'll rename... Hans Dietrich to... Spare science drop off. Right. Check out the ridiculous amount of train stations I have down here at the science drop off. Is that enough? I think there's one too many.
again. I think there's one too many. Oh, just look at that again. <laughs> because uh, my my plan is to because we're we're dropping off iron plate and copper plate and steel plate and so on. So my plan is uh, is to actually make the stuff that they need down here. So so that they they are they're getting the more or less raw materials and everything else is being produced down there. Okay. Uh, you've got productivity modules obviously on there. Yeah, so, so some of it, uh, like batteries, uh, productivity modules, processing units uh, will, will come in. Yeah, I, I suppose it can be modified later. Yeah. Yeah, but but, but uh, I'm thinking that it makes sense to make, uh, for instance, productivity modules and processing units up where we're making green and red, red circuits, because that's mainly what they need. That is true. Yes. No, it doesn't mean that we need to make more green and red circuits up there, I think. Ah, I've made a mistake. Which is fine. You made a mistake? That doesn't sound like you. Yuki, you don't listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I, I haven't made a mistake. I just, I, I need to. I, I need, I need, I need to. Do I need to? No, yeah, because we need sulfuric acid elsewhere, don't we? So yeah, I, I need I need sulfuric acid coming out of this. So, what if I did that? And can't run that under there. If I can move that. That can still work. Move that, be fine. Yeah, oh, damn it! Do you want to do that? We're looking pretty good. I still need to set up the robot production and all the military production, but other than that, I think we're looking pretty good. Pretty good. Did some stuff just get... I need to at least double our green and red circuit production for further production over here, which is fine, I guess. I think I'll build it up here. Uh, that's, that's almost perfect, is it? Is it almost perfect? It is almost perfect. Oh. Are you okay with me building above where I have red and green circuits now? Uh, because I, I, I kind of want to make basically the exact same setup uh, up there. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can do, do whatever. That's, that's, that's. 
Yeah, that's right. Let's build, build up there. All right, There's cool. There, is there, so no. Just fit in the water if you don't want it. Yeah, I don't want it. I think I've done already. Uh, there, there, there is a little, little line of water, but uh, yeah. uh, that, that'll go away. Oh uh, yeah, I think I left that in there because I didn't know if you needed access to water, so I thought. Yeah. That would work as a, a source for you. That would that was good thinking, but I, I I'm pretty sure I don't think I need it. Like the nuclear power plant has got like a tiny little reservoir and somehow runs completely off that tiny little. Yeah. I don't get how infinite water works. But... No. <laughs> it's uh it's yeah, running so off. We'll take the bottom and uh, build the nuclear reactor down there. Yeah. Uh, somehow we're running the nuclear power plant off a. Uh, well, a uh, factory town well. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. I don't know how that... It's, it, I am surprised there isn't a well in there. Yeah, there isn't. There isn't. But then, I suppose if you had a map that we didn't have any water and it was only at the top or the bottom, mm -hmm. you'd have to train it up. Yeah. Which I'm not opposed to. Either. I, 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 if, you know, if, if I end up struggling for water terribly, I might just build a train and have the train deliver water to where I need it. Yeah, why not? Uh, I mean, if you have enough trains, you can get enough water. Yeah. Well, there is a way to increase the size of your cursor when you're covering water. Do you know how to do that? Plus and minus on the number pad. So it is. And if you hold shift, even when you're out of range of the character, it will put down ghost ones and the robots will come and do it. Yeah. So I'm out of stuff now. Where's the... Where's the landfill? Oh, there it is. No. Do we have any landfill? We should have, right? Should be. No, I, I, I think we're out. Because I am, I am requesting it. There should be some being made in the center of the map, unless that's run out of stone. No, we got loads of landfill. Really? Are, are you? Oh, it, it, it's it's coming now. I was gonna say there, there is there is a section near where you are. Um, where where uh, there's some... covered by the robots. Yeah. So if I want to put in, I should do that. Really. There we go. I almost think that I need to somehow redesign this train station. Ah, damn it. Because we just need more. Or maybe we don't. Maybe once we get all the modules going, we won't need more. And what I have is fine. So what about we kind of work from that assumption right now, at least? Oh, damn it. No. Uh, right now, we certainly have enough copper, certainly have enough iron. Basically, have enough of everything right now. So, how about? Uh, 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 oh, uh, uh, 
There's a filter in there, isn't there? Yes, there is. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, I, I would like some, please, logistic system, if you don't mind, if we have any. Mm, I don't have any. Does the logistic system have any? Any what? Yes, it does. Fifty of them are on their way to be. Awesome. Mm. Fifty what? The filter inserters. Ah! ah. Uh, because I need to get iron onto this other belt, but I can't use a splitter because then it stops it going forward as well, and I still want it to go forward. Mm hmm. At least I think I still want it to go forward. I definitely need to double the red circuits. Oh, what else? Uh, I've got to make explosives. That requires coal. Oh, no, I don't. Oh. I don't. Explosives needs coal. Right, okay. So, thank you for the inserters. I will probably use them. I don't know when, but I probably will. So, if we took here and split out so that we've got two lines of grid circuits going down and then we took somewhere and I said output priority to the left and we give me iron plate we've got two lines of red circuits going out In our next game of Factorio, I think we need to use a calculator. What's one of them? What do they do? Yeah, I, I've never really figured them out either. <laughs> uh, but... I think we could do with them. What, what, why? Why is that? But because... Because I don't think we are being super efficient. At least I'm not. I, I don't know if you are. I, I, I'm, I'm just... I figured out how many batteries I need and I'm just copying that along. I know I don't need <clears> 8 of your gas in. I don't need 8 of this. But, but yeah, I'm just doing it. Mm. Because. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. So that's that one done. So now I need to do the next one. What is the next one? See, for some reason you have two speed module twos in you. I have no idea why. Exactly you do. What is this one? Uh, this one's going to be sulfur, isn't it? Well, that should mean that you are... Should explosives. Producing a bit faster, yeah, you are. And for some reason, you have two in you. Four seconds, and you should fire every one second. Oh! Oh! Right. Okay. Uh. I just got the sound effects of somebody subscribing to me. Oh! Whoever that was, thank you very much. And I should have probably disabled that on my recording. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was like, hang on a minute, what, what's that? What's that? I don't think I have sounds of sub someone subscribing. Uh, I set up with Streamlabs, so um, ah. if someone subscribes, it obviously pops up. But I didn't think it was active when I don't have that enabled. <laughs> Are you streaming? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I am not streaming. I am recording. Definitely recording. Uh, I guess it's still active, but it's on a different I don't know. I'll, I'll figure out later. Uh, so, yeah, whoever that was that subscribed, thank you very much. You won't see this video until I don't even know when. Uh, 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 Thursday, yeah? The what? 
20 something. Brandon, Brandon Houston. So, th thank you, Brandon. Thank you. Welcome to ST Hedgehog's channel, Brandon. Yes, and you should definitely go and check out Nog's channel as well. Hello. Um, Hello. You have to be stood right there. Ah. I have been playing Satisfactory. Uh, I, not recording, but I'm considering uh, doing a, a Satisfactory series. Uh, the problem being time. Yeah, uh, but I am seriously considering it because, uh, yeah, I, I, I was watching uh, Seastyle playing uh, Satisfactory. He he just started playing Satisfactory not too long ago, and, and I got an itch. Uh -huh. And the itch won't go away. Right, okay, yeah. It's kind of like it's right in the center of the back where you can't reach, you know. Oh uh, right, yes, yeah. I I must admit, I did. I have been watching their uh, vlogs and things. So. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to keep up. Uh, yeah, and and there's quite a lot of new stuff uh, with the uh, the water and all all of the fluids. That uh, have pipes now and the uh, awesome shop and everything. It it looks really nice. I, I'm not that far yet in, in my little uh, private uh, trying to remember game. All oh, right. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I so said I've 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 played a little bit with the awesome shop. Mm -hmm. Not a great deal, but I did notice they mentioned something about this new wall or something. Uh, uh, new war is coming. Oh, uh, maybe. I, I, I don't. I don't know. Um, I can't remember who it was watching, but they were saying this. This is a game changer, which I think uh, is something everyone says. Yeah. Whenever you play any game, oh, this is a complete game changer. Yeah. yeah. I'm guessing it's. It was probably I'm Kibitz or something. I do not know. Uh, what are the chances of you should recommend? No, I, I, I don't know. Uh, mm. Again, it wasn't actually a video I watched, it was just one that I saw. Mm. They mentioned about this, and there's more, and he had pictures of all and stuff like that. It, it might ah. be something that they, mm. they've got planned as well. Yeah, it, no, it is actually I'm Kibitz because I watched that video today. <laughs> uh, and it's not a game changer. Uh, uh, they they changed the, um, uh, the uh, they they changed the way that ores look. Okay. Oh, right. oh okay. So basically, they changed the sprites or whatever. And uh, the copper one looks like ice cream. What are you doing here? What? What's? Oh, that. Oh, okay. They're still there, mate. I think we lost the hedgehog. Hello again. Hello. <laughs> uh, our, our, our power system is failing. It is. That's not good. I just noticed the power poles is like they're red. Like, uh, um, it is failing. For some bizarre reason, some of the storage tanks don't have steam in them. And I don't know why, why some would have and some don't have. I have no idea. But I think uh, someone probably needs to get on the nuclear power. Uh, yeah, but I kind of want to move the nuclear power plant down yeah. to the south. Yeah. Put it down there. But, uh, yeah. I, I suppose, I suppose I should really. I just. 
Or we could just... We, we could just set up a bunch of temporary coal power. Oh, we, we got loads of solar panels as well. Yeah. None of, none of them put out here right now. Yeah, that's true. But I was that's true. Like, we haven't run out of fuel rods, have we? Right. No, 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 we still got those fuel rods. 716 fuel rods. Okay, then why the heck aren't they all going? I guess it's using more steam than it's producing. Yeah. Which is interesting. I will have to have a look at that, but I'll have to do it mm -hmm. next time because we are we are out of time. We are. We are. So uh, yeah, let's take a look at that in the next one. So uh, yeah, alrighty. So uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. Oh, what, 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 what? It's a, problem. it's a water problem. It's a problem. Did, did you cover over the water? No. Or did I? The water's still there. The water's still there. It's just not getting pumped up to it faster. Uh huh. Maybe we can just stick a couple of extra pumps in there or something. Maybe. Or we could tank some. Yeah, yeah, okay. So it's, it's, we'll come back next time and deal with it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We'll figure it out. Alright. So. Again, thanks for watching, guys. We hope you enjoyed it. We hope to see you in the next one. And until then, bye-bye.